Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video we're going to start work on Fred's left arm. Um, more, ex more importantly, the left forearm. Now in a previous video from last year I did actually get his left bicep built and installed. Now since then I've been working on a Spot Micro Dog and Gael, the designer of the InMove robot, has been working on a new set of hands. So the hands shown in this drawing are not the hands I'm going to use, but it does use this bed, servo bed and forearm. The new hands, to make them move, you obviously need the servos which are located with the forearm. So we're going to start with that. Now, everything else I've printed out on Fred has been in PLA. Recently, I've started trying to print in PETG. So all the parts you see uh, on the screen here are PETG. And they have some nuts installed in them. But I'm not a real fan of nuts just sitting there they have a tendency to break out or come loose and i've got to join some parts together now i am going to have to paint all of this when i'm finished uh, due to issues with stringing in petg and that stringing getting back up onto the nozzle and then dropping down as a dark burnt blob i am going to have to sand and paint most of this so to make sure the likes of this nut and these nuts in here don't come out I'm going to plastic weld them in place now I have been told that plastic welding on this will work so I'm using my 3d pen again I've loaded it with PETG filament and this pens designed to run PLA or ABS I'm going to set it to the ABS settings when I'm printing with the PETG, I'm running at 235 degrees C. When I've been printing with PLA, I've been printing at 205. And then I use the pen at 200. So I'm gonna go five degrees lower than what I've been printing at. So I run the pen at 230 degrees. Apart from that, it's supposed to work exactly the same. And I've got the screws from here. So I'm just going to put these screws in. These go through the holes here. Now, if you have a close look at these, you'll note that um, they are designed for a countersunk head. I've noticed that Gael is fond of the countersunk heads or the flat head screws, uh, and they will give you a nice flush surface. I don't happen to have any on hand, so I'm going to use these round head ones instead. To make sure that we don't block the exit of our screws, I'm going to screw these in far enough that they bite in. I know that I can hold the parts on with this, so we'll, we'll uh, put these in and then weld them in place. Because I haven't got the cover on, it means that the screws will stick out a little bit further. And that's good, it gives the screw somewhere to go. Uh, let's get stuck into it. Uh, for those who are interested, this is one of Shido's drawings. Uh, these are a very good drawing, showing the layout of all of the parts and which parts we're using. So in this, drawing or in this uh, build I will be using the base here so you can find that here and here I will be using the top covers there and there I will be using this cap RoboCap 3 2 that's that one uh, I haven't printed this out yet the elbow shaft gear I am going to have to print it out at some stage uh, in the short term by not attaching it yet I can sit the arm on the base 
I have printed out this part and this part in the new version this has been replaced with new parts so this part here has been replaced there is a new version of this we're using this and this but you'll see down here the tensioner is now replaced with this part and that's just another servo holder that will get welded onto the guide block, the front guide, uh, rod cable front. So that'll be welded together. Uh, and of course, all of the hand is very different. Uh, there's linkages that go up through from, so they're moving the servo, or Gael has moved the servo from here. So the servo used to sit in here and drive this uh, little gear used to connect direct to the servo now we have another part which mounts in there that holds this gear there is a linkage made up of these two parts to get welded together and they go from a servo that gets mounted in this which replaces this and runs up to drive that gear and then that drives our uh, wrist so let's get stuck into this part so before I put that on let's get these nuts sorted out so this one looks like it started to break away a little bit at the top so I'll have to make sure I push that down as I go um, and this one looks pretty good might just put a longer screw in there
Oh, I seem to have misplaced one of the screws that I needed for this. Um, I have got more, so I will grab one out shortly. I thought I had enough screws to cover it all. So this is welded up. I may do an outside weld here and over here. This is going to obviously need sanding back to smooth it out. Uh, still to go in, I've still got to weld up these two halves. Now, the reason this has been split, when these bolts were printed, they were printed on end. These were split, uh, so the layer lines ran along the length, and that gives it more strength. So I'm going to uh, weld down the middle, down each side. And we've got this piece which attaches to the end of the servo that goes on that end mount. They then go into that point, join the matching one in there to rotate the wrist. That allows a 2.5 millimeter OD 1.5 I think it is ID might be a bit bigger might be two millimeter ID uh, PTFE tube it is in the notes the instructions but I'll also make a note in here uh, on the next one when I actually install it and that'll run from the servos through the wrist and into the new hand so we've got most of the hand or the left forearm belt. I haven't installed servos yet. I'll do that after I've got the hand constructed and attached. That will be attached with this bolt through here. I could use a metal bolt as well uh, and that may yet happen. I've still got to install that. I forgot to put that in before I put the covers on and I'm just using a self-tapping screw. I may change my mind on that and actually put a um, insert metal thread insert in there for a metal screw to go into I may still do that for screws like these ones put the metal inserts in here in two places that'll give it a bit more strength as well and also in the two screws that hold the bed down put those inserts in there and that'll stop them from coming out so that'll do for this video if you like these videos, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. It's a form of support that helps the channel a great deal, costs you absolutely nothing. And by ringing the notification bell, you'll be notified when the next video comes out so you can see how we progress on the next part. If you've got any questions, either leave a comment in the uh, below the video or join us in Discord ask a question there uh, and I can try and answer it there if I get enough questions on the same subject I will make a video on it. If you'd like to support the channel further then by all means join us in Patreon. I'd like to give a big thanks to my existing Patreons, VIPs, Go Lucky and Lorenz Berger as well as my Builder Level Patreon, Elmrells45 all of whom are coming up on 12 months uh, as Patreons. And we'll see you in the next video.